It's a way of life, it's a struggle sometimes But even dark nights, see the light Just open your eyes If you can look beyond the field of reading all the lies Raise your head up high and aim for the sky If you can dream and you can live it It might take a few times But the only people failing are the ones that don't try Never judge it by its cover It just might surprise Yo, what's up everybody? This is Star for Life coming at you one more time with Urban Melody Productions. We're out here at Elysian Park with another exclusive interview. And I say exclusive because this is fresh meat. Yeah. <laughs> coming straight out of uh, an extended vacation. But uh, I'm here today with my boy Triggs, Trigger. Thank you. Thank you very much for taking the time and, you know, having a little interview with you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, now, I just want to, I know you're pretty well known out there as far as like being in music videos, you know, Obviously, because of the tattoos and all that. Yeah. Um, what was your first tattoo? Bro? My mom's name started. My mom's name, and then just started from there. Started putting stuff on my back, my neighborhood, and then it just turned into this little by little. At what point were you like, that I can't get an office job? Yeah, that, that was probably by the time I was 18. That was a wrap. Then I already started getting stuff on my face and actually my neck. And I, as soon as I did my head, that, I knew that was a wrap. And somehow, luckily, I fell into the pier, doing piercings. And stuff like that. And so that's what you're currently doing right now? Yeah, piercing, piercing and uh, trying to get pro. I just, just paroled, so I'm back trying to get back into the movie scene and uh, anything I can for the most. Do you feel that your tattoos or the fact that you're on roll has held you back from really going out there and doing something for yourself? Nah, it, actually, for me, it's, it's, it's a little bit different from life. As soon as I had these tattoos, I got a different vibe from different people and luckily it networked that way, started messing with like Esteban Oreo and doing photography things and uh, it uh, kind of helped me out, that's how I made it. If I didn't have no tattoos all over my face, I don't think I'd be in the videos, I'd probably be just another face. Right? Right, right. Now, if you see someone else kind of going on with that same route, a youngster or whatever, you know, would you advise them, you know what, Yeah. Don't, or? Yeah, well I got, I mean I got kids, I got, kids that are my son 16 15 my daughter's almost 20 so it, it luckily my kids turned out to be good kids considering my lifestyle but i definitely wouldn't recommend anyone tattooing in the face and neck it's, it cuts back on uh, even though society accepts it a little bit more and you can get regular some regular jobs nowadays but yeah, it, it definitely cuts back from uh, opportunities that are coming away all right so if people want to get pierced by you man how do they get a hold of you uh, i'm at sin city tattoo and appointment and, uh, it's uh 5150 50 Tattoo, Sin City Tattoo, both in San Fernando Valley. Alright, there you go. Anything you want to tell the people, man, you know, just about well, stay positive. Yeah, know. stay positive and keep pushing, that's it, you know? Don't let nobody hold you back from what, what you want or what you know you can do. You have any projects in the works right now? Uh, Does anyone stay nah, uh, trying to do, I just did a photo shoot with uh, Esteban and uh, uh, Andreas. Andreas, yeah, uh, hopefully he'll be on his way. Quick shout out to Andreas, man. Yeah. Pretty much it, just the tattoo shops, I'm back there piercing and trying to push that forward. I mean, anything I can, trying to get back into the movie thing. Get my little ugly face back out there, you know? You gonna give me a call if you get a big room? Most definitely. You know it, that's the business. There you go, Triggs. There you go, Stone for Life Triggers right here at Legion Park, having a quick barbecue with all our peeps. Rachel Varda behind the magazine right there. Varda <laughs> Magazine, she's the one that got me started. That's right. <laughs> They say I'm stubborn for life, and yeah, that's probably true. But trust, if you went through what I've been through, you can too. But to turn so much negative and still stand tall, I remain positive. God will never let me fall. And now that I'm a father, I got more to keep me going. I got clothing on the street, so I gotta keep it moving. I gotta reach the youth, so I gotta keep it focused. Remain humble. Always.